to show you how to paint this beautiful eagle with acrylic paint, step by step, in real time. That way you can follow along with me. And I do it for beginners and all levels. My name is Alison Pryor. Let's get started. Uh, if you got your feathers done, that's great. If you don't, we'll go back and, and fill them in. So right now we want to do the body. Let's put an underpainting on for the body. So I'm going to put on a black with a little bit of brown, okay, for this side. So what I have is a bigger sable brush, and it's a filbert, but you can use flat, and it's got kind of a chiseled edge so I can work around the lines. And just put that on there. There we go. Whoops, oops, oops, oops. I'm trying. There we go. I want to make that nice and dark so we can keep it away from the other one. So we can separate where the feathers go. Good. Good. So let's just get that on. That's, that's done. Now this time just add only brown to your brush, your dirty brush. Okay, so you got we got black on there already, so now it'll lighten up to a brown. So you put your brown on there and come down here, down around the feet. We'll worry about that after, so let's just put our brown on. Good. So there's three sections to the body here with the wings and the feathers. So I'm separating them by putting a really dark color over here on this side. See how it separates it? Now you know where everything goes. Good. Good, good. I'm just putting on brown, burnt umber, whatever you have handy. I want to explain about colors. I do have some uh, videos on color mixing and things. But I got to explain to you, because I mean, you think that when you look at a video or you look at a book and it tells you certain colors, you're like, I don't have those colors. And then you think you can't do a painting. But I'll tell you in a few minutes now what you need. And you can do any painting that you want. So now the wing is, my wing has gone right down into the grass, but that's okay. I'm just going to do this part here now. There we go. Good. Now, for this side here, I'm going to add a little bit of red to my brown. Like I said, only just to get separate colors, okay? So I just add some red and brown. Red and brown. Just to get a... If that's too red, just going to get more brown. There we go. It's only an underpainting, so don't worry too much. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't let anything stress you out, okay? Don't get stressed out about painting. Painting is to relax you, make you feel good. And if you do the painting for yourself, just do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. And when you do your painting, and if you like what you see, then you got a perfect painting. Even if you left out some of the shadows. Even if you didn't have the beat correctly. If you look at it and you love it, it's your painting. That's all that matters. Now down here by the feet. Let's go down by the feet a little bit. Hope it don't get too blurry on you. Hope not. Let's go with another dark brown. Let's see, let's see. Let's let's go with like maybe black and brown again. All right, just so we can distinguish that this is where the the claws, the feet are. So just go in between there. Just say that's his feathers way back there, okay? Fill in whatever you think needs to be filled in and now we're getting over by the white tail in the back here. So you just look and see what you need. 
we leave that back there and I will do that one next. So now we have all the background colors in for for the feathers and now the white. So let's go, I just used a small flat brush that time. So I'm going to use a small flat brush again this time. Chisel edge ones are nice. Easy to work with. Now you can ask me what size this is and it says four. Look how small it is. But anyway, I'm going to go into the white and I'm going to add a tiny bit of that purplish color if there's any you got any left over. Remember we made some purple for the shadow. For the shadow of the head. So just so we can get a bit of a shadow. Every time we go for uh, every time you go uh, to make white, always put a shadow underneath, whether it's gray, brown, purple, whatever. Okay. So I'm gonna make a light one this time. And I'm just going to figure out where my tail is. Oh, maybe I better make it a little darker. Because the white won't stand out if I don't make it a little darker, okay? Let's go. I'm just going with the purple color. I like the purple. Adding white, and I'm going in here. Good. Good, good. So bring the tail down. It's adding more white so I can see it. Go up against that feather. And bring it down. Good. Good. Bring down a feather here. And a feather here. Good. And here. Not sure how many feathers you got, but we'll make up whatever you you see on the picture. So long as you got your your uh, background paint in there, we are ready to go, ready to rock and roll. All right, so we got that much done. So now let's work on the stump that the little eagle is sitting on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put like I say, you can put whatever colors together you want. Okay, so I'm just going to put together some brown and some yellow and some white all right that's the color I'm going to use for the stump you can use whatever colors you want so we'll put the stump in there and, and then we can see where the stump is good now we just had to work around the little feet the talons all right so just go work around the talons Using a small flat brush. All right, good. Good, good. Some more brown and yellow if you run out of paint. And a bit of white. We'll be putting in some dark areas thereafter. So we have to figure out where he is sitting. Okay. So. There we go. There we go. We're almost done. Almost. So use the chisel edge of your brush so that you can get in between those talons and figure out where things are. Don't worry too much as long as you can get get that on there. That's your base coat. All right. It's the base coat, the underpainting. That's your underpainting. Everything is underpainted first. So you can see the shapes and so you know where everything is and where it all sits. All right, even though we worked on the head a little bit, Sometimes I like to spend some time on one part just to encourage me to go on sometimes, you know. It's fun to see things coming to life. So now we'll just put in some shadows here just to uh, make it a little more realistic. Just put in some dark burnt umber. All right. It's a bit of darks here, just a little bit for now. Just to get it started. Give it a little bit of a 
little brown, darken up with some black if you want. Not too much though, I don't like that. I got a bit of black on my brush, I don't like it to make it too dark like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that to dry. That's the best thing to do. See, I have to experiment the same as you do, and I've been doing this for a long time. But I still have to figure out what brushes to use, what color paints to use, how I can get it to come together. So it doesn't matter if you're at it for a year, six months, ten years. You're still always learning, okay? Now we'll do the feet. We do the talons. So let's go back to our little skinny liner brush again. And what we'll do is we will take some yellow and some red and don't mix it totally together. See how I just sort of left a little bit? So just take the talons and get them painted so that we know where it's going, where they are. There we go. Good. So we get the shapes and find out where everything is. Oops. I pushed a little too hard that time, but I can fix that. Okay, good. See, can you see that? Just want to make sure you can see it. I don't want it to get too blurry. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now, we'll just do the talons there. Good. Let's see if we get a little closer for you. Okay, on blur. That looks pretty clear, I think, on my side. Alright, so then we have that, and then we have some more talons here. There we go. Oops, my paint is still wet. Okay. Okay, that much done. And then take some black and put it on top of your skinny brush, like that. And then paint the, we'll call them toenails, how's that? <laughs> the talons. We'll paint those in. There we go. See, at least now you know where everything is. Once you know where everything is, then you can just start layering on the paint and then it'll start coming to life for you, okay? Simple as pie. Sometimes. So, I'm just going to let that simmer there for now. Let me try something else. I'm going to try now putting on some more feathers on the top here. All right. Let's get in there. Good. I think that's okay. So now use your flat your flat brush, flat chisel edge brush. And like I said, you can try a fan brush. You can try anything that helps get it on there, okay? A liner brush, anything that works. Alright, so I'm just going to load up my brush with white again. So now I'll put some more feathers on the head part there. So, let's go. Good. So putting on those feathers is shaping up the head. Get that nice angry look there. Don't lose that. Kind of gone, gone solid on me there now. So if it goes solid on you, then just put some more shading back in. But if you're happy with it like that, then leave it. There's no, like I said, it's no right or wrong. It's just the way you want it. The way if it looks good. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Just put on as much as you can. 
good good come down good come down here leave a little bit of a shadow under the chin there it seems like it's coming along I'm after going into the eye a little bit okay so we have a nice little bit of fur on I'm gonna leave that you can put on as much as you want and I'm just going to take the beak and redo the beak a bit so I'm gonna take that uh, small round brush you can use the flat or the round and you get your yellow with a little bit of red a little bit of red and yellow and kind of an orangey color and come in here and with more yellow there we go get the shape of the beak so every time you're painting especially animals and uh, you know anything uh, that needs shape it could be a tree anything then what you're doing is you're painting shapes so make sure once you get your shape then you should be in good shape yourself good so let's go back here let's go back into here a little bit and come over here Break some of this yellow down here, or orangey yellow. Good. I'm just picking up more yellow now. Get the top, cover up that line that you put in there. Like I said, we're, we're working on shapes. So if you're painting and you lose the shape, then you'll see it. Right? So right now I'm trying to shape up his beak go okay almost almost and we'll put a little bit under here good and I'm gonna put a little shadow color under there just a little add a little bit of brown just give it a little bit of a shadow that's all there we go good and if you put too much in just put some more yellow on oops and if you need darker brown to outline it here just outline that line okay so get a little bit of a line here see how many times you have to go back and forth to get what you're looking for I'm doing this, like I said, in real time, so um, you're going to see every little mistake. You're going to see every little correction. And maybe there's going to be times I may not be able to even fix it. But I'm going to do my best. So this bit of red, a little bit of an orangey color on the top here. All right, I wanted too red. So I'm just going to bring up a little bit and get some more yellow. Good. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of white on my brush. My dirt brush is dirty. Just put a little bit of a highlight there on top of that nostril. And I'm going to put on pure black again. Just wipe off your brush. Same brush and put some black on there. And put it around the eye again. Outline the eye. See where I came in with the feathers? Good. Make it nice and angry. There we go. Good. He's an angry bird. And we're going to put clean the brush off again. Just wipe it off in your tissue and get some yellow. Get some yellow in around the eye. Now, like I said, these are... Uh, easiest as I can get them for you so um, there's lots and lots more work can be done so as you get more experience you'll be able to add more highlights and more uh, shadows and make it more realistic looking but right now for the video I'm just going to show you the basics there we go now I get that black spot back in there again. Black eye. 
And what we'll do is, let's see, let's see. I think this over here looks kind of too big. I'm going to clean my brush and put a bit of yellow on it and tone that down a bit. There we go. Put a little highlight up here. Didn't like that. See, change anything you want. Okay, and then I'm going to go in here. This video I might have to do it in a couple of different lessons because it seems to be taking a long time. It's, it's not a it's not a real it's a lot of detail in this painting. There we go. So I'm gonna move on to something else there now. Good. Good. Now we'll start the feathers on the body.